My name is Flash Isaac and I'm a teacher from the future. When I was much younger, I saw thousands and thousands of people fail jam and unable to gain admission. This made me travel in time. Now I am back with a Flash Letter Jam app and a series on YouTube tagged 120 Days Jam. My mission is to help you blast jam and as well get justice for everyone who jam has served breakfast. This is episode number 98 of the 120 Days Jam Chemistry with Flash Isaac. In the previous episode, we introduced polymerization. We said when monomer units combine, they give us polymers. And we also agree that there are two types of polymers, the natural polymers and the synthetic polymers. We also agree that polymers can be addition or condensation. We said that for addition polymers, they contain the same monomer. Only one type of molecule, many of them, thousands, millions, hundreds, billions, combine to form the polymer, only one type. This is similar to the relationship between atoms, molecules, and ions. When atoms of the same type combine, they will give us elements. So elements are made up of atoms of one type. Meanwhile, compounds are made up of atoms of different types. So, Addition polymers are made up of molecules or monomers of the same kind, while condensation polymers are made up of monomers of different types. So let's say 100 of one, 100 of the other, billions of these, billions of that, they combine, but not a single type of monomer. The natural polymers are rubber, carbohydrates, and protein. The monomer unit of rubber is 2 methyl boot 130 diene that is isoprene. This is a very common question in jam. What is the unit of natural rubber? The unit of natural rubber is isoprene. And isoprene is 2 methyl boot 13 diene. How about synthetic rubber? The unit of synthetic rubber is neoprene. N-E-O-P-R-O-E-N-E. -E -E. And neoprene is 2 chloro boot 13 diene. Look at the difference. For natural rubber, Instead of methyl, pardon, for natural rubber, we have methyl. For synthetic rubber or artificial rubber, we have fluorum. Apart from that, every other thing remains the same. Natural rubber, isoprene, 2 methyl, boot 13 diene. Synthetic rubber, neoprene, 2 chloro, boot 13 diene. And the rubber is used in making tires, sanders, and so on. Why synthetic rubber can also be used to make footwear and vehicle tires. All these car tires you see, they are synthetic rubbers. The unit of carbohydrates is glucose. When so many molecules of glucose combine, they build up to form carbohydrates. And glucose or carbohydrate is energy stored in food. They are energy providing food. Proteins are natural polymers and they are made up of amino acids. So many amino acids build up to form protein. And protein is a body building food. That is the use. These are for natural polymers. Here we have synthetic polymers. Remember, synthetic polymer can be addition or condensation. For addition synthetic polymers, we have polythene. Polythene is made up of ethene. So many ethene come together to form poly. Thin. They are used to make plastic bags, crates, plastic bottles, dust beams, and so on. We have PVC. This is polyvinyl chloride or polychloroethane. This chloroethane used to make PVC are gotten from either ethene or ethene. Once the double bond in ethene is broken, and chlorine is being attached, you form chloroethane. Once the triple bond in ethane is broken and you attack chlorine, you form chloroethane. So PVC, polyvinyl chloride, are from chloroethane. They are used to make a PVC hose, plastic pipe, table, and artificial leather. Polystyrene 
is made up of phenyl ethane, also referred to as styrene. Phenyl ethane is referred to as styrene. So, so many styrene come like combine to give you polystyrene. Poly means many. Styrene means a compound. So, many styrene. Polystyrene. Used for making sealing ties, see through containers, and disposables. The perspace, PMMA, is used to make plastic glass. And the monomers are 2 methyl propanoate. 2 methyl propanoate are monomers of perspace. Now, you will see that for these synthetic polymers, the monomers are only one type of uh, compound or one type of molecules. Now, see synthetic polymers. Number one is nylon. Nylon is made up of hexan one cis diamine and hexan one cis dioic acid. So you see, two different monomers, many of them combine to form nylon. Nylon can be used for fishing nets, dry clothing, and so many uses of nylon, like you may know. Terylene, also referred to as dacron, is made up of, of the monomers are benzene one four dicarboxylic acid and ethan one two diol. They are used in sale of boats and synthetic textiles. Bakelite is also referred to as phenomethanol. Bakelite is also referred to as phenomethanol. And the monomer units are phenol and methanol. They are used to make uh, blocks, all those you know, knives, uh, forks, all those handles. They are made up of bakelite. Telephone casing, um, kitchen wares, all these are applications of bakelite. It has a very, very wide application. It is a synthetic polymer and it is a condensation polymer. Ladies and gentlemen, have I been able to treat polymerization in this and the previous episode? Yes, I guess. So, I hope you find this very, very helpful. Subscribe to this channel if you've not, and follow me on all my social handles. I am Flash ID, that is the name of Flash Learners. These are the two names. Feel free to reach me directly if you have something to discuss with me or you have anything bothering you you wish to share. And finally, install the Flash Learners Jam application. Using this YouTube description, visiting flashlearners.com, searching Flash Learners Jam on the various app stores, or starting it up directly for installation and activation. I am here to make you pass and pass very, very well. See you in the next episode.